If it like you can't hear it, just kind of like jack it a little bit. Okay, cool. That should be kind of fucked up a little bit, but yeah. Y'all have like an intro or some shit. Nah, we actually just start we don't. Talking. Yeah, <laughs> we just straight up just start talking. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, we're just like get fighting. right into it. Yeah. yeah. Who does that? What well, podcast person? Does um, that? fuck. Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan, I think. Yeah, Joe yeah, Rogan does, does that shit. Well, he has like a little, kind of like a what's it called, like an animation at the beginning. Oh, that's yeah. about it. Yeah, we want to do the same thing too, but we've been trying to find someone that can do it for us. But you've been on Fiverr. On what? F i v e r i dot com. Go to Fiverr dot com. You could hire anybody to do anything. Oh really? shit! Like if you need a, a fucking logo, uh-huh. you look up logo maker. There'll be a logo maker. You need someone to edit like a fucking Should podcast. Right huh? Get it, get it, get you it. Fi- Fiverr dot com. This is not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> you should mute it. The game. Oh, you fuck. can hear that shit. From me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. Dude, I it. didn't even realize that shit. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. All right. Cool. You ever been to a Padres game? I've been to a Padres game. I've been Come to on. a baseball. I've been to a couple of Dodger games, but no Padres games. Bro. Uh, what party? I don't know. Would you ever mind coming with us one time? I would go to a Padres game. It had to Bro. be. It has to be against the Dodgers, though. All right. They're Dodger coming into, in perfect. September again. It would have been perfect right now. Yeah, it would have been perfect. But they literally playing right now, huh? Yeah. Right in front of our eyes. It would, they're coming back in September. In September? Then yeah. hit me. Hit me. Hella. my shit. All right, Hella. All right, we got you, bro. Because my, my mom, like, got all the fucking connections, bro, because she works at at the hotel that is sponsored by them, so uh-huh. she gets, like, all the fucking uh, crazy-ass shit. My mom, too, she got fucking, like, an in with the Clippers or some shit. Yeah. She, like, work with them somehow, some way, and they always give her, like, like right there, like, behind the court size seats and shit. Fuck, damn. I was there, like, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I don't really like the Clippers. I'm more of a Laker fan, but basketball, Laker? basketball, yeah. shit. I don't, honestly I only watch the NBA during playoffs. Yeah, me too. That's yeah. What it's Lakers ain't even in the playoffs. I'm kind of sad. Oh yeah, it's huh. okay. Everybody was like all clowning on LeBron for that shit. Yeah, I know. Think, but it's whatever. Fuck it. I don't know. I, I always hate it when people hate on like athletes like that. It's like, bro, just fucking respect all of them. You know, like yeah. they're all goats, so you gotta appreciate it now that they're here. You know, like same shit with soccer because I I I grew up like loving soccer, mm-hmm. so I hate it when people like compare Messi and Ronaldo now. It's, it's like, annoying. Bro, yeah, because it's like, <laughs> bro, like, just appreciate both of them, you know? Like, they both good in their own ways. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it's like, you'll never get to see them. It's Ever like, again. Yeah, like, back then they had Michael Jordan, and we never got to see Michael Jordan yeah. play, and I was like, we yeah. got them. So just appreciate it, you know? Later on, you're going to end up loving them anyways. Yeah, so it's chilling. It's whatever, though. But yeah, bro. Yeah. All right, so since we already started it, um, hello to everybody. We're here with Jared. Yo. Um, um yeah shout out to jared for coming here for real appreciate it yeah he just had a his art show yesterday wonderland so, los angeles yes sir, so was turnt. congrats to him thank you thank for you. real thank you guys mm-hmm. hopefully you make more and bigger and better Facts. ones soon. for real this summer part two coming for real and it's gonna be bigger and it's gonna, it's gonna keep growing bro trust thank you bro yeah so um yeah so how did it go yesterday for the art show you know uh, that shit was dope. Like I was just telling y'all, um, yeah. we went to the warehouse that one of my homies owns mm-hmm. and just got hella photographers, hella artists. We had a bro fucking painting right there. He literally set up his paint and painting materials. I don't know what it's called. Like a stool stencil. Yeah. And shit. Mm-hmm. He was painting. We hired, um, like local people to come get, um, sell food, like Peruvian sandwiches, Chinese food. We had That's a bar. Fine. I performed the song, an unreleased song. I had some of my homies that I live with and as well just kick it with all the time. They make music. I gave them a platform to come out, perform. One of my homies, AK, he performed his new, his whole new fucking EP. It was like four or five songs. He ran through it. That's fire. Sick. So yeah, it's dope. And then my homie, Rolf, shout out to Rolf. Had him perform his first performance ever. He made fire music. That's and cool. Finally got his first chance to get out there. Shit. Is his shit on Spotify? Dude. Yeah, Rolf. Like, That's cool. R-O-L-F. Yeah, that's just it. That's why oh, we'll probably link it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we'll link it under if you want. Yeah. Link that. Yeah, I'll send you yeah, bro. Yeah. anything y'all need. Yeah, bro. Um, what what would you say was the highlight of yesterday for you? I think the highlight yesterday was performing, cause yeah. you know I I started making music a couple months ago. I want to say back in like December. Yeah. And making music very fun. You know, I'm just home, me, my laptop, my microphone, my thoughts, and. One of the first songs that I ever made that I kind of like. It's called Wake Up. I'm not going to release it or anything, but all my homies were going to perform yesterday. Literally, all, all my closest friends were performing. They're like, yo, you have a song. You should perform. I was yeah. like, okay, fuck it. So I performed, and it's just like, 
it's a different feeling. Like when I was yeah. talking to a group of a hundred motherfuckers, I was like, when I say wake up, can y'all say wake up? They were like, wake up. That's I was fire. like, oh shit. Like, that's sick. You like a yeah. rock star or some shit? Yeah, some I, felt, shit. I felt like a rock star, bro. <laughs> it, it, it was cool. Yeah. Definitely want to do more of that. But I guess that was a highlight for sure. Bro, you look, then, he drop it. You never know. Hey, yeah. you never know. Maybe. That, that, yeah, that, that's what you I'm never thinking. Know, bro. Bro. No, just, just do it for fun for now. Yeah, Keep Logan. Going and see what's mm-hmm. cracking. Damn, bro. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, what area are you from? Uh, LA? I'm from LA. I grew up in LA. I was born like Hollywood area. Hello, Grew up East LA. That's cool. Finished high school in Whittier, and now I'm back, back out in Los Angeles. That's cool. California. That's cool, um, what made you want to throw in our show? Uh, this was like my, f- like my third, fourth event. First event ever I do, I ever did was last year. It was an art show similar to this. Um, I was making rugs on spot. I had people selling food, doing grills, had local artists, and it was just super fun. But I feel like the way I executed it wasn't. That well, it was an idea I had, but when I executed it, by the time people were performing, that shit was empty as fuck, you know? Mm. So I wanted to do another one this year. It was li- this is literally like almost a year later from my last one. Now that I know more than I knew last year, I was like, mm-hmm. I want to do this. I want to give like my homies, I want to give locals a chance to just showcase their shit. Like my bro Mac, he sold yeah. three prints. His first ever three prints he sold as a photographer. That's sick. And bro made bread, bro has his... His prints up in people's houses now. Meeting, That's why. And just meeting new people out in L.A. that Like, I met so many people yesterday i never seen in my life. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, where did you come from? How'd you hear about this? Who are you? So, like, you know, now if I need a new photographer, I met a new photographer yesterday. If I need a new videographer, I met people who do videos. You know, just having those connections Shit. and meeting people, seeing... That's heck, bro. You know, yeah, human life, just meeting others. I think I think that's the whole meaning of life. To be honest, just build connections with people and For real. make new experiences every day. Exactly, new experiences, new everything. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, now nah, that's fire though, because it's like you're just trying to put people on, and you know it's a whole like chain going on. That's like, why, yeah, 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 yeah help everybody. Fire. They help you. You guys grow together. You know, trying. That's to a fire movement right there. Yeah, that's good. That's fire, bro. So how was it like growing up for you? Um. I don't know, man. It it was all over the place going up, to be honest, you know, from when I was young, being in L.A., I was just, like, seeing everything around me, seeing, you know, what's going on, because, like, y'all in San Diego, you know, it's like, if I I grew up in Mississippi and shit, I'd be on TV watching what people doing in L.A., you know, seeing these movies, seeing all this shit. But I grew up in L.A., like, I would always pass by, like, Paramount Studios, Warner Brothers Studios, like, every fucking week, driving with my mom, wherever Mm -hmm. she would take me to the grocery store and shit. That's cool. So, I don't know, seeing all that just made me want to, like, do more. Like, from when I was young, I would always see Paramount Studios, Warner Bros. Studios. And this uh, last week, I was at Warner Bros. Studios in that bitch working on a TV show for, like, CBS. So, yeah, shit. shit. <laughs> that's you know, that, that, Yeah, that, that's how it was, just looking at stuff, wanting to do more, being grateful that I was right from L.A., being able to do all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, um. Oh yeah. Well, what are the what are your top three cartoons or childhood TV shows from from a kid? I like that one. Um, top three cartoons. Fuck. Um, I really like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Mm. I don't know why all the crazy ass characters. Yeah. I feel like they just people in my head too that I see. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this motherfucker blew crazy. Hey, like, I'll see that. Uh, SpongeBob. I think that's oh like yeah, that's, that's gotta be every that's gotta yeah. be everybody's that's everybody. top who doesn't fuck with yeah. that yeah. SpongeBob is, is is dope SpongeBob lovely I love that shit that's cool bro and then uh, number three I, I gotta hit him with oh Invader Zim Invader Zim that shit I never heard of that you never heard of Invader Zim brother that's what I never you never heard of that shit nah what is it. <laughs> I, or what 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 um channel was it that on? She was on Nickelodeon. Okay, it it was like this fucking alien that comes to Earth, but he gotta like act like he's not an alien type shit. So he go into like a high school, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but he's trying to like actually take over the world and shit. Now now that I think of it, I'm a little older than y'all, so maybe you yeah. didn't see it because it was oh, only yeah. on for like a year or two, to be honest. And then they canceled that bitch. But oh shit, yeah, I like mm-hmm. that show. Damn, yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, that's, no. that's crazy. Yeah, I love that shit. That's one of my favorite shows. Should let's move this. Because I've been just covering his face. Oh, shit. My bad. You don't want to do that? All up in my face. <laughs> nah. We got to redo that shit and everything? Nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Redo the entire shit. Nah, for real, though. Um, yeah. Oh, is that the first section you got done? Yeah. Right. Um, Another question that I got mm-hmm. is, at what age or, like, when did you start realizing and caring about the way you dress? I want to say, like, 
maybe like sixth or seventh grade. Damn. I was like 11, 12 maybe. Is that how old you are when you're sixth or seventh grade? Yeah, I think like 11, 12. I was like 12, um, 13. Yeah, I was listening to like Tyler, the creator, Hella. Mm-hmm. So bro was coming out with Hella crazy ass clothes shit that I never seen before. What she, year was this? This was like 2013, 14. Damn. That's like his first album. Was 2013, 14. Yeah, yeah. Damn. This is for, since his first year. He was coming out yeah. with like crazy ass clothes that I never seen. He had, this one, he had the original OF store too. Yeah. Damn. Had like crazy ass socks and shit. These striped shirts with colors. I was like, yo, I, w- I want to wear this. I started wearing it. I was like, oh, this is cool. Like what else? And then, you know, I started buying like Supreme, Babe, all that shit. And then. Yeah. yeah, so you were put on early? Yeah. Yeah, I, w- yeah. I was put on early. I remember I was, like, in, in eighth grade. I was, like, wearing Supreme, wearing how much, how am I get money to fucking buy a $60 T-shirt? I <laughs> so should, how, I how would you do not, it then? Hey, you could I should not have. Man. Yeah, yeah uh, I remember yeah. in, in starting, like, seventh, eighth grade, I used to sell chips in fucking middle school. Bro, <laughs> I used to do that shit, too, in nah, middle school. Nah, for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 the, the fucking <laughs> chip food. Yeah, the yeah. chip look. Yeah, yeah. With I, the, uh, these, yeah. Use a bag too? Yeah, yeah, like a yeah. Nike bag. I used to sell chips. I used to sell sodas and shit. Yeah. Like like candies, I would buy like the pack of like Mexican candies for like ten dollars for like a two hundred. I sell for twenty five cents each. Yeah, um, yeah, I would use that honestly, like, cause I was young, I didn't need to pay no bills, I didn't need to fucking pay well, yeah, no, no yeah. car insurance, uh-huh. no fucking phone bill and shit. So I would literally just buy clothes. Mm. Clothes are like fucking video games. That's it. But that was that was for me and also birthday money. Yeah, when birthday yeah, no, yeah, around, birthday money. Bro, I, I, I would save that shit. Yeah, I, I would save birthday money. Try to like be like, how can I make more money? I'm a, I'm a fucking make some t-shirts and try to make more money. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm not gonna chips and shit. Bro, I was horrible at saving money. I got that money and spent that shit in like an Air Forces or Polo like yeah, uh, right away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that that's been me recently. Like I just I try to save as much as I can. Yeah, that's save me it now. and see how you yeah. can make more. Yeah, yeah. Th- it started like eighth grade. I was saying like chips and shit. And then when I got to high school, like ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade, yeah, every year I used to like make t-shirts, or just like whatever, mm. sell shit. Yeah. You know, make logos. Yo, can you buy my t-shirt, bro? It's only ten dollars. And then I would make yeah. money like that. That's actually. Did, did you use a screen print? Like, uh, no. Well, I have a homie with the screen print, but I would like just I had there was a spot in my city where mm. they made like. Shirts, I would just give them a logo. They would print the shirt. They would print it. They would have give me the shirts and everything. I didn't have to do shit. Damn. Just give them a logo, pay, and then that's it. That's, that's sick. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's sick. So it's like you just kind of had your own brand without, without it being a brand. Kinda. Yeah, I, I remember every year when I was in high school, it, around it was like February. I used to make these shirts that said like positively pink and make like album covers. I'll see if I can find a photo, show y'all, like put yeah. up or some shit. Mm-hmm. Um. And then it, I remember when they said it was like one eight hundred Think Pink, you know, like the Hotline Bling shit. Yeah, I've seen that. They said Think Pink, and then I would like sell the shirts and then give like a couple hundred dollars to a um, like a breast cancer awareness charity or some shit, and then yeah. keep it going, get more, sell more, sell more, keep it keep it running every year. Damn, that's, yeah. that's, that's cool. Do you ever make a brand? Never make a brand. Yeah. I, at some points, yeah, I did have like a couple brands because I used to skate hella all the fucking. I used to make shit for like skaters, try to make like jeans, pants, shirts, all that shit. But that's fire. None of it ever like took off, you know. Just really. Would you ever come back to doing it and come back like twice as hard? For sure, yeah. But if if I made like a brand, I want I would want to do like like some fashion shit, not like no no screen printing. Like yeah. um, what do you call it? Luxury brand. Luxury yeah, brand. Yeah, I'd want to make like a shirt with a hoodie that has like a fucking tree coming out of it or some shit. I don't like some <laughs> runaway shit. Some runaway yeah, shit. Yeah, some yeah. crazy ass shit. You that's know? Sh- that, that's yeah. some that's low key some shit, shit that I've been like trying yeah, to. Yeah, it, it's with just maybe. hard to find like manufacturers is, yeah. to really get it going. That's like you got you got to switch your life. Like I'm gonna be like, okay, now I'm doing fashion. Yeah. Like instead of doing everything else, I'm doing. That's just yeah. a lot of weight to carry. So I have I actually have like a shit ton of crazy ass fucking like clothes just all. Like ideas and here. shit, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, just yeah. sketch it just for like That's future fire. reference. Yeah, yeah, and then keep that so that when you actually get the opportunity to make it, you can do it. You're like, oh, I got my ideas. So yeah, yeah. Damn. Um. So, what was your favorite meal growing up? Oh, my yeah. favorite meal. Um, yeah. I fuck. It was it called costillas. It's like ribs. It's like costillas? like yeah, like, like Mexican ribs. Costillas. Oh, yeah, costillas. costillas yeah. yeah. It was like the ribs and shit that has the bone. And I would eat that with rice. I remember my grandma would always make Let's that. Let's guess. Yeah. That's um, And tamales. What did you want to be tamales. growing up, like, career-wise? What I want to be? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, wait, I, I think I remember. Um, I remember at one point I wanted to be, like, a fucking professional skater. But I, yeah. I, I, Dude, that was him. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> yeah, he used to skate but a lot. But I, I wasn't, like, that good to be a professional skater. So I was like, mm-hmm. dude, I'm tripping. Um, 
And then at one point, I remember, I remember I wanted to be like a lawyer or some bullshit, bro. Damn. I wanted to, you know, have like a normal job. Yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to be a fucking plethora of things. I wanted to do so much shit. I was like, oh, maybe I want to make clothes. Maybe I'll be a skater. Maybe I'll be a lawyer. Just like constantly indecisive. I'll, I'll be the first pro skater lawyer to make a clothing brand or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just always indecisive. I was never like, oh, this is what I want to do. Oh, I remember yeah. for a long time I wanted to be a chef. Damn. I wanted to be a chef. I used to always watch like Food Network and shit. But yeah, no, that shit was always changing. It was never like settled down. Even now, I don't know what the fuck I want to be. I don't know what I want to do. Bro, I'm just right living, bro. Right now, that's how I kind of am. I'm like, I don't know. I, I kind of don't like it because I feel like everybody's putting pressure on me. I'm like, I feel like end of senior year is the worst because, yeah. you know, that shit, everyone's like, yo, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't fucking know. But like, I just follow my heart. Just stay true to yourself. And then just yeah. money will come. You'll just be chilling. Yeah. I don't even know how I make money, bro. <laughs> I don't know how I pay my rent. <laughs> It's just every... Yeah, it like, just appears and shit. Yeah, just, like like yeah. a million forms of income, bro. I'll get, like, money from fucking a Depop or Grail sale one day, and then the next day I'll, like, fucking... You have a Grail account? Yeah, I saw on Grail. I saw hella on Grail. I saw yeah. hella on Depop. Offer a, I used to run Depop hella, yeah. Yeah. Like, make shit. money there. That's fire. You have a link tree? A link tree? Nah, you could link I have it? A, I have a yeah. website. Oh, yeah, I've seen the website. JaredMurrows.com. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could link it, yeah. That yeah. people can see. Sell rugs, yeah. deep pod. Oh, yeah, yeah. How'd you get into selling rugs? Like, yeah. cause I've seen it. So for the most part, when I first started, cause I was on TikTok, I saw people like making rugs. Yeah. And then I wanted to buy one, but hella motherfuckers were charging like four hundred, yeah, five hundred, yeah. about four or five hundred for rugs. And then yeah, the, ma- the machine itself is like three fifty. So I was like, this is some bullshit. I want to make my own rug. Yeah. yeah. So then I I bought the machine, I bought hella yarn, and then I just said, okay, I'm gonna do it. And then I just started making rugs. Hello, motherfuckers would hit me. Oh my god, this is so hard. Can I buy one? Can I buy one? And I was selling it for cheap, bro. I was mm-hmm. selling for like a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars. Oh, my first rug, I sold that shit for like forty bucks. What, what, what rug was it? Yeah, uh, it was like a fucking. I don't even know what it was. It was like some monster thing. Like someone just sent me like a logo. They're like, yo, uh-huh. it was like a little monster. Oh, can you make this into a rug? I was like, okay, yeah, sick. I a custom it. rug for forty bucks. Yeah, it was some Damn. cheap shit. Oh no, I, I did like a Hunter X Hunter one too. Some anime oh, shit. shit. That's fire. Uh, yeah, and then, then I started making more and more. Uh, like hella people started hitting me. Like YouTubers started hitting me. I remember this YouTuber Louis Castro. He's a makeup oh, yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. He's like. Homies with James Charles, but yeah, he's funny, people, like Jenny sixty nine and shit. So I lost sixty nine her, and then uh, <laughs> he. I had like sixty followers on my TikTok at the time. I mm-hmm. just posted a video. I was like, "Yo, I make rugs," and then he hit me in the DM. Uh, Ungeto Matthew hit me. I don't know if you guys watched him. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's funny. He hit yeah. me. You want the Barbie then, song, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then um, then I uh, I started going to hella sets because this is my job, you know, casting. Mm-hmm. And I would just start taking rugs for the artists. I'd be like, you know, I'm, I'm going to see, like, artists a week. Like, why not? So then, like, I did a rug for Polo G, did one for Uzi, did one for oh, DDG, Damn. did one for Young Bands. And oh, I saw that. the Young Bands post. I did. Yeah. yeah. I saw you on his Insta. Hella. 24K Golden. There's, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's hella. I don't know. I can't name them all on the top of my head, but for the yeah. most part. So what yeah. made you get into casting? Uh, I don't think anything made me. I kind of just yeah. fell into it. I was just on Instagram. I was bored one day. I saw a post. Hey, we need interns for some casting company. I was like, okay, Damn. Um, I'll do it. That's um, cool. And then I fell in, and they fucking loved me. They're like, oh, my God, you're so cool. Start casting for us. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's so it. then, you know, um, just started running it, casting videos for, like, the weekend. Tyler, did I did the whole Call Me If You Get Lost shit. Really? Every the vi- like, like the promo video, right? Every, I think every promo video, every Bro, music video. That's fine. The Malibu installation, the website, like hand model people for the nail you know, polish. There was Damn. more. We did like another thing that never came out. Um, yeah. What? Damn. So there's like unreleased shit out there? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what we have like a million unreleased things. You know, I, I think every artist, though. Yeah, that's sure. true. Damn. You know. How, did you get to meet Tyler? Uh, I've met Tyler so many times in my life, bro. Damn. I met Tyler probably <laughs> 10 times in my life since I was young. That's yeah. it. When was the first time you ever saw him? Uh, the first time I ever saw him, I think it was at the fashion show, if I'm not mistaken. It was 2016, 2015, oh. 2016. It was like one of those years. Um, Tyler threw a fashion show. My homie got me in. My homie Joel. Shout out Joel. Um, and then on the way out, I guess somehow, some way, when I was just walk, we were walking back to the car. We ended up right next to Tyler's car in the parking lot. <laughs> Damn. And then bro was like coming to the parking lot. He had like a handful of shit, and I was like, "Yo, bro, like you're Tyler the Creator." He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Can I get a, a picture?" He's like, "Yeah, be quick before people come." And then I posted up. My homie posted up, and then Tyler left. Yeah, that's fire. And yeah, 
And then, um, no, I met him a couple more times. No, actually, I met him as, I think I met him a time before that. I'm not sure. I don't know. For like, the, when I was young, it's all a fucking blur. From, like, Damn. 15 to 20. It's all a blur. That's Shit. cool. But, yeah, a couple times. Cool. Damn, one of the questions leading into it is, have you ever been starstruck? Or has there ever been a moment where you've been, like, damn, like, someone that you've always kind of looked up to, I would say? I feel like when I was younger, I would get starstruck a lot because I would see hella celebrities. Yeah. Just, like, you know, being in L.A., you just see people, bro. I'll, yeah. be, the, I'll be at the grocery store. I'll see fucking Usher, you know? like <laughs> the fuck? That, really? shit li- that shit literally happened two weeks ago. Yeah, I was no at the... I was two at weeks the ago? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I was at Erewhon. This is grocery store in, like, West Hollywood area. I saw Usher. He was right in front of me getting a smoothie. Like, <laughs> Damn, right. Like, you should have asked him for some Usher books for real. <laughs> <laughs> some Usher <laughs> books. I forgot about that shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, no. Uh, <laughs> be, being starstruck, I would maybe... Able the weekend, you know, because yeah. I just listen to him so much. Yeah, and I, I feel like he's untouchable. Like, like you don't. He's not a motherfucker. You just come across. You know, he can't. Yeah. He can't just be outside. Yeah, I was, he, I was actually thinking about that the other day. Like, like he's so big. Like mo- a motherfucker cannot go to Rouse. Yeah, you know, like you cannot go put gas in your car. Like that's just <laughs> not something you can do yeah. when you're the weekend. So I, I was guess, at the I Super guess him. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I think the weekend when I saw him, I was like. Like like he's real like like yeah. this motherfucker like so that, that now that be me at concert I was, that was actually me at the Tyler concert bro because mm. I was like really close and I was like damn I'm like this is the dude that was at Paris Paris Fashion Week like when Nigo right yeah, there like, like like you see you see a motherfucker you're like you're real yeah. like oh my god <laughs> it's weird yeah. looks like fuck him in the face <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude that'd be so weird bro nah yeah, for sure the weekend though damn he up there that's yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that's fire. You're, so, what would be a dream collab of yours? I, it can be anything, music, clothes, anything. What would be like your dream collab with who? A dream you know? collaboration. Yeah. Um, I want a model for Acne Studios. That's on there, but like, I don't yeah. look like any of their fucking models, so I might not ever, or I might. Who you knows? Never know, bro. You never know. Yeah, you never know, okay. huh? You never know. Yeah. Uh, I want to do that. Um, music. I mean. Obviously, you know, work with like some of my favorite artists, but that's further down the line. I don't even like the music I fucking make right now. You know, it's just get, getting my feet wet. You know, getting out there. So you know, maybe make music with my favorite artists online. You know, Tyler Uzi, them motherfuckers. Um, clothing. You know, just model for some of my favorite works. You know, be a part of history and that shit. I always see like runway photos with the models when I'm talking about a piece. Like if I post it on TikTok, I'll be like, "Oh, we talking about this piece?" There's always like a model showing that piece. Yeah. Like yeah. I want to be the model behind the piece on the piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in the Louis Vuitton shows when. Yeah, like like if if you talking about like the Louis Vuitton like leather jacket or some shit, and I yeah. post a, I post a photo of it. There's gonna be a guy that's wearing it. Yeah. Like obviously, it's like who is he? Like I want them. To be yeah, be. yeah, when I think about that, is it reminds me of the Virgil's first ever show, and I think of like Cardi when he was wearing the whole chrome mm-hmm, again mm-hmm. poncho and the the chrome duffel bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what like I think that. about. Yeah, yeah, that's fire. Exactly. Yeah. I never thought about it that way to be honest. Me either. Yeah, that's fire though. Yeah. Um, who's your biggest inspiration, or like who do you look look up to the most, and why? I look up to a lot of people. Like I have a list of a fucking million people. My mom, she for sure, you know, she does everything mm-hmm. for me. Growing up with her, uh, I would say, like artist wise, this, this one gonna be out the park. Uh, Melanie Martinez, she very, uni- she very unique. If you see like just her artistry, mm-hmm. she builds like worlds within her music. Every album is a fucking world. Her song is a world that will take you in somewhere. Same with like. Like fucking Tyler, you know, mm. do the same yeah. shit. I'm trying to think. A, a lot of artists do that. I like people who like embark you into a world. Jaden Smith does that sometimes. He makes yeah. music, pull you into yeah. like his own place, you know. And I like how Tyler has like Count Flogna to like go along with the shit that he does to kind of have a visual see like these fucking big ass flowers. See like be on the carnival ride, do all this shit, see the visions in their mind. Yeah, yeah. You ever that, been that, to Count Flogna? Been to every single one starting in 2014 was my first one. What, I didn't, bro? Honestly, never miss one. Damn, I, was, I thought it started like in 2018 because that's the first time like I Damn, heard about yeah. it. The, the first one was like 2012, bro. 13, I think. Damn. I'm not, not mistaken. I went to like the third one. I think was we're we're planning one. on going this year. Yeah, if there's one. Yeah, if there's one. Yeah, there should be. Honestly, I think this year should be back. Yeah, nah, I hope I recover from them Astro <laughs> Fest, bro. Because I went there. Last you was year. at Astro yeah, Fest, bro. Astro Fest. No way. Yeah, that's where I don't know. That's where I met like 
few people from like area where that was like some crazy. I, I feel like honestly, it feels fake till this day, bro. Like. Like some shit, I feel like it was just a movie. Like I never had been were, type were, shit. Were you like in the crowds and shit? Yeah, bro. Shit like I like. Did I, you know motherfuckers was dying? I noticed because I saw it after the show, bro. Oh, after the show, you like? Yeah, I, I was walking out, and that's when I saw like dudes literally pass out on the ground getting CPR and shit. And then in my head, since that was my first ever fest, I'm like, that was damn. your first ever festival in your life. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, is this shit normal? But I'm like, because eh, I went to his tour, I went to yeah. the Astro World tour, mm-hmm. and I was in GA too and here in in San yeah, Diego. Yeah, tra- Travis crazy, but I seen a couple times like that shit not. His concerts go dumb. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but honestly, I thought it was gonna be like the first time. I was first time. I was like, oh, like people are just gonna pass out here and there, mm-hmm. but it's whatever, you know. Like it happens. So, but then I was like, damn, but when I got there, I was like, bro, is it usually this squish? Like, yeah. everybody, and then I was with my homie, and then he was like, he was like, nah, bro, and I'm like, low-key, and I'm like, this is gonna probably end bad, because look how it's set up. It was like a box. Yeah. Like that, and we're like, bro, everybody's gonna come in and squish in, bro. So then, yeah. And Y'all then, motherfuckers called it. Yeah, it, nah, he's the one that called it, bro. He's the one that was no, like. No, yeah, because I've been yeah. to like hella running louds, and like, I, I mean, they know what they do. Like, I'd be squished, but like, yeah. I'm not dying, bro. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I can handle this just an hour more until the motherfucker come on. But yeah, yeah bro, that shit's scary. I've never gone to a festival. Like, I've I just started going to concerts this year. No, yeah. Yeah. I've been, when, when I was young, like in middle school, high school, I'd be at every festival in LA. Fuck. Anything that touched down, I was there. Because I, I used to, like, make YouTube videos. I would go. I would interview motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. I would just be like, hey, what are you excited to do? I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm excited to see this guy today and this guy and stuff like that. Mm. My first, What was your first ever concert? My first ever concert, I was, like, fucking five. I saw Justin Timberlake with my mom. Yeah, that's sick. That. What the fuck? Justin Timberlake. That's when he cool. Was in his prime, too. He was, like, dancing and shit. I don't remember much, but... um. First concert that I do remember, I would think it was, I think it was Flog, not 2014, honestly. Damn. Damn. I was in fourth grade at that time. Damn, you were in fourth grade. Yeah, I was in fourth grade in 2014. I think I was in like eighth or ninth, I think. Damn. I'm not sure. My first ever concert was J Balvin one. J Balvin? Yeah, (laughs) that was right here in Tijuana too. Uh In Tijuana? Yeah, mine was a Don Toliver concert in LA. Oh, that's lit! Don Toliver go crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, my my first ever hip hop one was Travis Scott though. My freshman year. Oh my god, it was in 2019. Crazy. Yeah. 2019 was prime too. Bro, it was. Yeah. Honestly, I I miss like the whole vibe of it. Like I don't know. I like it was just different back then. Mm-hmm. I don't explain it. Life was different back then. When we it was when we was younger. For some reason, it's yeah, just it was. different now. And then we go, we gonna be in twenty twenty four. Looking back, damn, twenty twenty two was different. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That was, damn, that's that's some crazy shit. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like twenty twenty two. Like I know, I don't explain yeah. it. It feels like I don't know. I like to not think of the time. I hate getting older. I hate looking at the time. Like yeah, I'm me like, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now for me, it's uh, for us. It sucks because like just to know the fact we're about to graduate. It's like yeah, damn, I like. Know. The world, the world ain't even start for y'all, bro. I know. I ain't even seen shit yet, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks because it feels like we're already grown enough, but it doesn't feel like yeah. we're grown, you know. St- stay on the right path, cause like yeah. the momentum y'all moving, the way we talking is like natural. It's good. Yeah. So if y'all keep at the podcast shit, just don't stop. You will find your place in the world, and you will be fine. That's kind of yeah. what like what the whole plan about it was to just. Yeah, get something going. Yeah, keep it natural. Do do anything, bro. Just get something going. You know, make clothes. If that shit don't work, okay, fuck it. Make a podcast. If that shit don't work, fuck it. Make music. If that shit don't work, go fucking do something, bro. Yeah. Change the world somehow, some way. Yeah. Make it work. Yeah. Um, getting into this. So, what made you get into fashion? Um, I feel like we just all have our things. Yeah. Like, you know, someone will spend their money on games. Someone will spend their money on drugs. Someone will spend <laughs> their money on fucking art. I yeah. just, I fell into fashion. I love fashion. I started mm. thrifting hella yeah. when I was, like, pretty young. I think, like, eighth grade. I started thrifting, doing my thing. And then I would find, like, cool pieces. I'd find, like, a, a Dior piece, Dolce & Gabbana piece. I'd be like, oh, this is so cool. And then I would start to sell clothes for more. That's how I would make hella money when I was younger thrifting reselling and then i would just learn about pieces i would be like oh i, I found the supreme tea at the thrift for 25 like is it worth it i would look up online i would do my research and be like oh this is cool like a motherfucker made this. this is more than just a shirt it's art and then kind of like that you know little by little learning reading on pieces like when i bro when i'm bored i just read fucking articles i go to like 
Mm. LA Times and just go to fashion and just read yeah. shit, see what's happening, what's going on in the news, what people are dropping. I would go to Grail. I would just go to recent sold listings and just be like, okay, what the, what the fuck is this? When did when did they come out with this shit? Oh, mm. when did this yeah. fucking rap piece come out? This is dope. And then just read more about it. And then yeah. That's cool. Shit. I think it's funny because what I do... It's funny because you're in it and we're interviewing right now. Yeah, yeah. Usually, like, every night, I usually go into your TikTok, TikTok mm-hmm. account and I just see if you made a new post about something to put me on. Because you put <laughs> me on mad as shit, bro. Like, the whole, um, it's called What's in My Closet or What's... What, the, the, like, they're just showing shit that I have or, like... Yeah, that too. And then just making about what other people are wearing and then uh-huh. it just put me on a mad shit, bro. And then I, I love how you say the... Whole price after that mm-hmm. way I know that if it's worth it in my range and what to spend. Yeah, cause no, some shit be dumb into. expensive, bro. Like yeah, some bags be ten k, but then some shit worth it, you know. Uh, yeah, no, I I love that too. Like just bring pieces that I know, cause a lot of when I first started it, there was hella clothing pieces. I'm like, oh, this is sick, and then I realized like, wait, people don't know that this should exist. Like the fucking, I remember the one of the first videos I did the one big was the the Love Is Rage two cover, the Uzi one when he's wearing like a. A polar bear on his back. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I always knew, like, what it was. But then I realized, like, oh, people don't probably know. So then I made a video. I went big. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to make another one on some other shit. And some more yeah. shit. That's cool. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, What's your definition of fashion? Because I know a lot of people have different, like, I definitions. Mean, or is it? I'm, yeah, yeah. Everybody's definition is different. But fashion is kind of just, like, I don't know, like, putting pieces together, making shit work, looking good. Because fashion don't even have to be, like, a fucking $1,000 t-shirt yeah. mixed yeah. with, like, some designer jeans. Like, you could go to the thrift store, cut some shit up, make it your own, and that's fashion. Like, I have fits that are all thrifted. Total will be $15, and it'll be fashion. It'll be something I put together that I like the way it looks. I'll be wearing a $10 t-shirt with, like, a $150 hoodie. Mix it. If it goes good, that'll yeah. be work. That's fashion, mm-hmm. you know? That's why. Damn, so what's the, what's like your dream piece that you feel like it's hard right now to find, but you really want that you're like, I want the undercover castle backpack. It's, oh, you know, isn't like, there multiple versions? I think there's two versions. There's like yeah. a black one and then like a gray one. It's a backpack that's in the shape of a castle. And I just, ain't, I ain't seen some shit like that. I didn't even know yeah, making yeah. a castle backpack was possible. So I, I want that, you know, I want to be <laughs> yeah, able to look at yeah. that in my closet Damn. and then. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, d- I mean different shit. I want to have different shit. Every pair of Jeremy Scott's ever made, want Bro. that. I want them's. I have most of them, but like, there's something missing that I need. Yeah. To complete the trifecta. Bro, I want so many Jeremy Scott pairs, but like, I don't know. I just have to. It find just be them. hard to find. Yeah. You know? I just manifest them. To be honest, <laughs> I don't fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking know how, yeah. bro. I really want the gorilla pair, the the gorilla or the teddy oh, bear one. I was gonna wear the gorillas today. Yeah. He he actually put me on the to the teddy bear ones. Yeah, oh, yeah. those those are dope, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to get another pair. I have like the silver one. I want to get like the fuzzy pair and shit. Yeah, I actually thought that was cool because, um, I know a lot of people that don't really fuck with Jeremy Scott. So mm-hmm. when I would see your videos, I'm like, bro, he actually like owns even the pieces. So I'm like, bro, this is so sick. That's what like I really liked your Instagram and I, mm-hmm. I like seeing your like the, your outfits. Yeah, yeah. I mean it depends. You know, a lot of people don't fuck with Supreme. A lot of people don't fuck with Bates. A lot of people yeah. don't f- a lot of people don't fuck with a lot of things. You just yeah. gotta find, you know, someone who likes it if they rock it the way they do. Like the way I rock Jeremy Scott's is not gonna be the way you rock it. Yeah. It's gonna be the way you rock it. Like everyone do it differently. So everybody got their different thing going Yeah, on. that's right. Like that's fashion too. Anyone can yeah. rock something and just make a completely different piece. Like I, I'm wearing the, these, the ones it's our Rocky Warren peso. For but I'm not wearing it nothing like like that food war. I'm cozy <laughs> right now. Yeah. But stay cozy. But yeah. Damn. What's the most expensive item you've ever like dropped like on clothes? That you were like, damn. Uh <laughs> this was like two, three, four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I saw this sweater on StockX that was selling for like nine hundred thousand dollars. Someone put a bid on it, like a Supreme. Nah, one. there's no. Okay, no, 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 that. But like, so that was a meal. Uh, so then uh, I was doing my research on it. I, it was like some Supreme leather studded sweater. I don't even fucking remember what season it was. So I was doing my research. I was looking online, and I found it on this website for five k. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this shit for five k, and then I'm gonna sell it on StockX for nine hundred thousand. I'm gonna make my money. I think it's gonna work. So I bought the sweater for 5K, and I'm waiting a couple of days for it to ship. And then my bank declines that bitch. So Damn. then I, I call, and I'm like, hey, like, I made this purchase. Like, this is not fraud. Can y'all put it through? They're like, yeah, we got you. Don't worry. So I buy it again, and the bank still declines it. Uh, so I think that shit was not meant to be. But 
that's some shit I try, but as of right now that I own in my closet, the most expensive piece. Babe, what's the most expensive piece I own in my closet right now? I, I don't know. I'd I be, I be, like, fluctuating through clothes hella. Like, I will own a sweater. Like, I own this shit right now. In two weeks, I will not have it, and I will have the same sweater in black. So, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know how to answer that. The Rick Owens. Yeah, some Ricks, but Damn. I feel like hella people in LA have Ricks. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, people have Ricks. Now, like, a lot of yeah, no, I try, I try to fluctuate my clothes as much as I can. You know, mm. Buy a shirt, wear it, sell it, buy another one. Keep just it going. flip it. Flip it, go, yeah. yeah. That's how I go. That's fine. That's how we run it. Yeah. I feel like Rick Owens wouldn't look good on me. I feel like it's made for like... I feel, I feel like certain brands are just made for certain people, kind of. I feel that, yeah, yeah, like, uh, like a lot of acne pieces. I love acne, but they make clothes for skinny people. Yeah, they, they make clothes for motherfuckers who are like a hundred pounds. For real. I, I can't sometimes. Like, I'll buy, I buy some shit in a medium. I'm a medium, and it still won't fit. I'll be like, what kind of medium is this for, bro? <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. But yeah, so, so sometimes they for sure make clothes for like you know. Different people like in some brands I'm an XL bro, and some brands I'm an extra small. I just yeah. don't fucking know sometimes. It's just a sizing, I think. Yeah, it's just the sizing and shit. I don't know why they do that. So, uh, can you check real quick? Uh, can you check real quick? It's recording. Any chance? Yeah, yeah, right, cool. right, cool. Imagine that shit wasn't recording. <laughs> not, not bro. Sometimes like that shit just turns out by itself. Yeah, out of storage. Like, nah, it's not that. It's just like. Some weird, yeah, crazy his shit. His phone just turns off. Um, yeah, bro. <laughs> Y'all should have that shit connected, bro. What if it dies? Nah, it, nah we, we make sure. We, it. <laughs> okay. that's, what, that's why it turns off. So it died, it died out on us one time. Nah, and we have to we have to redo the whole thing. Yeah, actually, not because he got up and then yeah. the whole thing just disconnected, bro. Yeah. No, you gotta watch that shit, bro. Nah, for yeah. real. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's turning on the light, the fucking lamp. Oh shit, I forgot I did. Yeah, that. now it's getting more darker <laughs> and shit. We're already like halfway. Yeah, he's turning on. Yeah. Damn, man. I'll be using the tech decks and shit. He does, because he's the whole... And I was into skating and shit. Like, crazy. I actually just recently, like, started using it again, because... Oh, shit, what the fuck happened? There you go. Um, yeah, I started rec- recently using it again, because I found it in my room. It was lost for a minute. This shit? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, f- I found mine, too, back at my mom's house not that long ago, and I was just playing with this shit all the time. I got <laughs> my fucking car on, the, on like, the, the surface, mm-hmm. whatever. There's hella marks. I didn't know this shit would make marks. <laughs> I was so about to ask you, it doesn't scratch you? Yeah, it, it do scratch you. I didn't realize, bro, until Damn. I was done playing with that shit. Damn. So what's your dream career? My dream career? Yeah. I mean, I know you probably don't have one because you already I mean, said that. Being yeah. me, getting paid to be me. For real. Getting up in the morning, just money in my account for being that's, me. That's fire. That's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> no no cap, bro. Yeah. Everybody, no cap. bro. I mean, well, nah. Maybe there's people that actually wouldn't, wouldn't yeah, mind so working at 3-5. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, fuck that. Yeah, nah, that's not for me, bro. Fuck nah. a nine to five. Yeah, we're getting, bro. I worked at McDonald's, bro. That <laughs> hell <laughs> no, nah, bro. I not, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, but I mean, I it was it was paying off the car insurance. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean you, you got you got to do what you got to yeah. do. But I, I could fucking never, bro. Yeah, so that's what's like. I don't know, but I've after high school, avoid that lately. For real. But after high school, I'm gonna have more time to focus on the brand I'm trying to do. So, so hopefully, that's how it goes. You know. So and then the keep the goal. Is, keep speaking into existence and just do for real. Just do that shit, bro. Yeah, uh-huh. you got a question? Um, not right now. <laughs> right now? Um, so, um, what's the most favorite item you own? My favorite item I own is my yellow fur Jeremy Scotts. Because I used to say, well, the reason I buy these shits is because when I was younger, I could not afford to buy a pair because they were like $500, $600. And now that I'm getting money, I'm like, okay, fuck that. I'm going to buy every single pair in the world. Damn. Fuck. And also, also they <laughs> like they you know they stand out. It's it's yeah, a good like yeah. talking piece. It's a good piece to have on. It's just they match with a lot of shit, all the colors. So yeah, now it low key gives me bored when when you ask people to wear your outfits and then they always call them like trash. And I'm like, bro, like I, like you I, don't understand. Bro. I don't know. It is good though. It's content. Yeah, sometimes. motherfuckers don't get. It. Yeah, like I'll pull up to local colleges like USC. Like those kids are smart, but they don't know shit about fashion. I'm sorry. Nah, like true. you know. Everybody's smart in their own way, I guess. Yeah, you could yeah say. everyone's smart in their own way. Like, like they, like, bro, I cannot do a heart surgery. I'm sure I could find a million motherfuckers on the campus that can do a heart surgery, mm-hmm. but they don't know nothing about drip. I know about drip, so it's yeah. different. It's a difference. That's cool. What's the most memorable memorable item for you that 
when you see something in your closet, you're like, it reminds you of a certain memory that you're like, damn. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. oh, I have this Thrasher hoodie, this th- tie dye Thrasher hoodie that I've had since I was like fucking the young, very uh-huh. young, like 2012. Um, I that used to be like my concert sweater because, like I said, I would have a concert, hella festival. Mm-hmm. I would only wear that sweater. I I wore it to every flogna. Honestly, to every single flogna I've been, I've worn that sweater. I take it with me. Yeah. Um, I've worn it to see in like. I wore it to see Rocky. Wore it to see like Travis Scott. I wore it to see Tyler. Other times I wore it to the X Memorial in Melrose. Damn. I wore it to everywhere. Yeah. So I I just have like that's my sweater. When I go out, pop out, I will have it on me for sure. Damn. I wish I bro. I remember the whole X Memorial scene. That shit on the news. Bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Really? That, we were actually in middle school when that happened. Yeah. We were going Damn. to eighth grade, I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone eighth grade when that shit happened. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I was still like in high school. That shit was crazy. I didn't even realize how bad it was until like, like most the fucking police was like on the roofs, like <laughs> shooting <laughs> like pellet pellet guns. I don't know what the fuck it's called, like rubber yeah. bullets. Yeah. Or I was like, oh shit, I need to get out of here. I had a homie that was there. Uh, you remember Jalen? Yeah, Jalen. He was there was with crazy. his cousins. Yeah, like I, I was right here. A motherfucker jumped off the roof right what above me. Like, <laughs> we had, a, we had a catch, bro. Like that's some Uzi shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, Damn. like people were crazy, bro. It Damn. was just no rules for two Damn. hours. R.I.P. X. For real. Yeah, dude, he would, he would have been so big right now. Yeah, bro, he'd be a superstar, been bro. Huge. He, he was gonna be crazy. So sad, but he, I, um. When he actually got tackled here in the show, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, know, have you ever seen uh, the? I was in San Diego, right? Yeah, yeah. Was San Diego. bro. I was supposed to go to the LA show the day after that, and I pulled up to the venue like 11 a.m. because I wanted to be in the front row. You know, I, I was yeah. literally the first person at the venue, and they're like, "Oh no, this shit canceled because he what happened last night." I was like, "What?" I was I was gonna go to that show, but I was too young. My mom said no. Yeah, yeah I wanted to go. No. <laughs> there were so many shows I wanted to go to back then, but my mom would say no. Bro. Yeah, no, yeah. My, my mom would always say no. So what I would do, I would lie to her, bro, because I was in uh, I was in ASB. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, we have an ASB bonding tonight. Like, <laughs> like we're going to go to Knott's. She'd be like, okay. And then I'd be at the fucking X concert. What? Punching that's, motherfuckers that's in the mosh pit. Yeah. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> <fuck them>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I come back home all sweaty. Oh, no. I, I remember that one time uh, I was like 14, 15. Yeah. And there was this 420 concert happening in Anaheim. And it was like Uzi, Playboy, Cardi, fucking Suicide Boys, and a bunch of other motherfuckers. I just care about Uzi at the time. Yeah. But I wanted to go, and I know my mom wouldn't let me go because it was four twenty. It was like on a Tuesday, and the concert started like at the nine p.m. So um, I made this, like some bullshit ass excuse. I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna try out for band today, mom. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be late, <laughs> bro." So many excuses. That, that's like the <laughs> most random shit ever. Yeah, I was like, "I'm gonna try out for band on some bullshit," and th- the concert went late, bro, late like till one a.m. type shit. So my mm-hmm. mom's calling me. She's like, "Where are you? Where are you?" And this is like ten minutes before Uzi comes on. So I go in the restroom and I just give my phone to my friend who like he's just good at talking to like parents. Y'all have like friends like that. Yeah. Like motherfuckers yeah. just they just courteous. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, just talk to my mom, tell her we're at a concert and I'm okay. And I don't know what he did. I gave him the phone, he talked to her, and then I got home and she was very upset. I was sweating. I smelled like <laughs> straight kush. Nah. But I saw, but I saw Uzi. I think that was my first time seeing Uzi and it was very memorable. I love that day. And I was, was I was wearing my Thrasher hoodie. So Yeah. But, but like Damn, what was your punishment for that, bro? My mom would have done something. I'm, I mean, yeah. I probably just got grounded, you know, like I couldn't go out for a couple weeks because yeah. I, I don't bro, I honestly, like I said, 15 to 20 was a blur and that shit happened multiple times. So yeah. I, yeah, I just got grounded. Damn. Bro, not my mom one time, um, this was my sophomore year, first mm-hmm. semester. It was during the basketball season and Sierra Canyon came to our school to play and it was, it what? Was, that's dope. Yeah, and it was on um, Bronny's first ever game. So, so your school good then at basketball? Uh, they used to used be. to oh, okay. my my freshman uh-huh. year. That's when they were like yeah, really beast. They were D one. Yeah, D three. Yeah, now they're yeah, not D two. I believe I my know. high school basketball was like D thirteen, bro. <laughs> right. Y'all lucky the <laughs> fuck? Nah, okay, so it, it was um Bronny's first game, right? Mm. So um everybody was going crazy, bro. Everybody was making dumbass rumors, saying fucking Drake wasn't gonna come. So it was, yeah, it was funny <laughs> as fuck. Uh-huh. And um. Nah, but who pulled up? Dwayne Wade pulled up to that game. Nah, oh, that was that was dope. like nah. sophomore year, no. That's what that's what I'm saying. Sophomore oh, year. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and I remember I had to go to this um church class thingy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Kids, no? yeah, and yeah, and I remember my homie. Um, he goes to a nurse school, and he was like, "Oh, like if you give me Barney tickets, my mom can take us." But and I'm like, "But we have to leave like right away." And I remember we had a sub. We had a sub for um. 
uh, for that class, the teacher. And I remember right after it ended, bro, we just did. But my mom was like, I don't know. I just took the red and I said, you know what, bro? I'm not going to my mom. I'm just going to leave. And my mom just found out. And I'm like mid-game, right? Did she find out where you were? Yeah, because she, can, she actually tracked me back then. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, uh-huh. and then, bro, this is so funny. Keep this in mind. I was in mid-game recording on Snapchat. Like, Barney was shooting a free throw. And all of a sudden, I see, like, my whole phone on the top. Just the bars go off. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on. What? And then I try to call my mom, bro, and I have no service. No. And I'm like, nah, there's no way. I'm like, boy, no way, boy. And then my mom cut off all the service. No, bro. I yeah. remember my mom used to do some bullshit like that, too. I got home late one day. It was like 1 or 2 a.m. And she locked me outside, and I couldn't go in. It was like 2 a.m. And I was like, yo, let me in, let me in. I didn't have no keys. Like, I think I forgot. And she's like, well, you forgot your keys. That's your fault. So then I start calling all my friends, waking their asses up at 2 a.m. Like, yo, can your mom pick me up? Like, I can't get inside my fucking house. And shit. Shit. Some bullshit. Yeah, and I remember... um. What happened? I remember I was I got home and she also locked the door and I have house keys. I was like, what the fuck? Like, there's no way. Same bro. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I remember my since my homie dropped me off. He was just there waiting outside and I felt so embarrassed, bro. Like having to make him wait and I was like, fuck. And I remember just like banging on the door and then my sister just comes out of nowhere and she clutched it up and just let me in. Oh, you lucky, you my had little a sister. sister. Yeah, yeah, my little sister. Oh, you lucky, bro. bro. Nah, it was. I don't think I've ever been locked outside of my house. And if I did, this I just the worst, bro. I jumped through the window. It's so scary, bro. Like, I didn't even I think about know. jumping through the window. Too. <laughs> I was just like, damn, I'm. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> damn. Nah, cause I I never lock I never lock my window, or at least back then I used to never lock it. Now I do, but back then I would never lock it, so I'll just always just jump in through there. Oh, you sneaky! You know yeah. what's up. You know the tricks. <laughs> you ever sneak out of your house? Uh, honestly, bro, no. I, I never done honest. that shit either. No. Um, uh. I have. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I I've, I think I I huh. I've snuck out of my house and I've snuck people into my room. Bro, uh, yeah, I could never. Bro. I remember. I I think one time I was going to sneak out and like I was in my mo- I was about to take my mom's car too on some bullshit and uh, I was sitting there like five minutes. I was contemplating. I'm like, I can't do this, bro. And then I went back <laughs> into my room and shit. I went back like through the back and I went into my room. Nah, I actually took my mom's car a couple times. Oh my god! <laughs> like, Did you ever find software? out? Yeah, because oh. I crashed bro, it. You crashed that <laughs> bitch, bro. <laughs> no, t- tell them the story. Tell them right. the story. All right, all right so. <laughs> This is the first time I say this publicly like this, but um, so I snuck out and I want to go pick up some of my friends that live like near here. Yeah, this was like three a.m. We're gonna go get food because there's a McDonald's like over here. Like it was all, here. y'all went to McDonald's, bro. That's yeah. the that's the venture y'all went on. No, 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 no. Because all right, so I want to go pick up one of my friends like far as fuck, and then we drove back and we were just chilling at one of my homies' houses because his parents were out of town, and then we're like, let's go get food. So we went to get food, and then. They didn't have shit at McDonald's because it was breakfast hours, I guess. So that then, late? Damn. Yeah. Bro. So then, oh shit, my shit got cut out. But then there's another Jack in the Box like around here as well. So we went to that Jack in the Box. And then after we got food, they were like, yo, like you should drift. And I was like, fuck it. So then I tried. And then oh. I told my homie to like move his head because I couldn't see out the window. And he did it all late. And I saw a pole just coming in. No. And then we crashed into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and then is it, is what do you do, bro? You just call your mom, hey, I, nah, I crashed your shit. We were low key panicking. We tried to get like the dent out. We couldn't get it out. You know, damn well that shit was not gonna come out. <laughs> nah, and then I had to just drive back home. And then I I woke my mom up and I was like, yo, like I, I took your car and I crashed it. And yeah, it was just hell after that. That's that's why I don't <laughs> want kids, bro. What the fuck? No, no, no. Nah, you know how I found out, bro? The most funny shit. How I found out. I, I remember let me t- <laughs> it was on Snap, and he was nah, like, "It was on iMessage." I texted you through my laptop because oh, I didn't have shit. Yeah, but then I remember you texted oh me through an iPad God. or something crazy. My laptop. Oh, his, it was his laptop. Oh, yo, shit got taken yeah. away. Yeah, and since it was during COVID, um, I had to do online school. Yeah, so I I had my laptop. That's it. And then I, I remember I texted him. I was like, "Yo, I got my shit taken away." Yeah, he texted <laughs> and then me. He, and he was, was like, like "Why?" Bro. I was like, Cut. "I explained everything." He's like, "Damn." Yeah, that was some funny Fuck, shit, bro. <laughs> Yeah, nah, no, I, I don't have no stories that crazy. Huh? Nah, nah, I, have, <laughs> I have a lot of crazy shit that I can't even really nah, bro, talk about yeah, right now. Oh my god, bro. Oh <laughs> and and god. his nickname now they they called him Tokyo Drift for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Drift, bro. Because I think it was his birthday right after. No, mm-hmm. wasn't it your birthday right after? Oh my bro, god, bro. It was all bad time. Like a little bit after that, they, they they were calling me Tokyo Drift. Oh yeah, god. right by your birthday too. Yeah. yeah, I know you. Didn't I think get, it was like you didn't get no presents, bro. Nah, but they they still let me throw like a little get together. Oh my god. Oh, didn't I didn't go to that shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. Nah, but I was going through it, man. <laughs> Rip. 
You're past that time, though. Yeah, I'm over it. It's just a memory. For real, I don't know. Who was the first big artist you ever worked for? Uh-huh. First big artist I worked for. Mm-hmm. I think it was Chris Brown. Damn. Damn. Fuck. That's a big-ass step right there. How That's long like, ago? I think Chris Brown was the first. It was like Chris Brown, Young Blue, and 2 Chains. I think, wait. Is it Chris? Was it Chris Brown? Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. Oh wait, it might have been Lil Nas. It was like Lil Nas. It was Lil Nas X, or it was like Chris Brown, Young Blue, and Two Chains, all in one. Uh, yeah, that's like when I first started casting, first started modeling and stuff. Those are two foods I would always like. I did hella videos with Lil Nas X. That was one of my first, and then one of the first ones I worked on on set, like as one of the people behind the camera, like situating shit, like <laughs> yo, go there. Oh, water's over there. Here's the restroom and shit. Mm. That was a Chris Brown video for sure. How long ago was this? Like a year, maybe. Damn. Yeah. Maybe a year or two. So you're like recently getting into it? Uh, Yeah, like doing casting work, yeah, and then modeling super recent. Like literally like a month ago or two, I signed a Shit. contract. So. Damn. That's fire. What's the, um, what's like a person you really want to, or, yeah, I would probably say someone who you really love to cast for they uh, haven't been to yet. Who I want to cast for that I have. Yeah. Honestly, bro, I, I hit everybody on the list. <laughs> like Uzi, Tyler, The Weeknd. I don't think anybody else left on that bitch, to be honest. Damn. Yeah, that's so you like got everybody? That's, yeah. that's, that's it. That's fire. Yeah, I, I, I finished my list. Damn. Yeah. Shit. That's sick. So it's like, yeah. damn, so you, you're just doing what you can now? It's just... You yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm modeling more now. Not really doing as much casting. Not, like, working for the artist. Like, we're more so working with them. Like, side-to-side modeling. Like, y'all see me in the mm-hmm. Justin Bieber video. Y'all see me, like, in... Uzi video doing a lot of the shit like the Uzi one I worked behind the scenes and in front of the camera type shit. That's fire. Yeah. For the people that don't know, what Justin Bieber music video was it? It was Attention with Justin Bieber and Omale. Omale is like a big Nigerian artist and mm-hmm. he did a song with Justin Bieber. And somehow, some way, I was on the video shoot. Don't know how. It was on <laughs> Valentine. It was on Valentine's Day. And me and my girlfriend were there together, so that shit was dope. That's, That's sick. cool. That's like cool. That's Valentine's yeah. Day or some shit. Mm-hmm. Cool as Valentine's Day Kicking it with Justin Bieber So that shit was lit That's crazy cool. yeah, that What the fuck up. Bro you should have told him To sing like Baby for you Like you uh, know Like you Some corny With a straight camera Like this fool <laughs> fucking Like a zoo animal Sing baby <laughs> Some corny shit <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I try to just talk to him And shit you know Just Yo Yo I'm Jared Oh I'm Justin Nice to meet you Some like normal shit Yeah you know? Cause you don't wanna be on Some weird shit Yeah like, Hell fuck? no yeah That's that's what I learned Working with so many artists You never wanna come off Like Yeah Oh my god, I've been listening to you since I was five. <laughs> like that was straight gay motherfucker. Like okay, so yeah. that's cool. Like that, <laughs> so yeah, you, you know, like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All awkward. That's, that's, yeah, that's not how you want to come yeah, off. Yeah, that's what me and him always talk about. Cause yeah. it's like when you gotta think about it, they're people. They, you know? they pe- like, bro, they people. Like yeah. they, they have lives. They like, they more than just they songs. They more yeah. than just they art. Like, mm. you think, like, just the Bieber go through his own problems like we do. For real. That so fool like, probably crashed his mom's car when he was younger, too. For <laughs> real, you know? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. they've been through their own shit. They live their whole ass lives we don't know nothing about. Damn. Yeah. I always I always find that so, super, like, kind of weird. Like, there's people out there that, like, live their own, like, completely different lives. And, like, yeah. Yeah. you don't know nothing about it. Some crazy shit. Like, like I said, bro, like, when I, when we see people, I'm like, yo, you're real? Like, I saw the weekend, I was like, you're real? Yeah. Like, like, nah. like, what did this motherfucker eat for breakfast, bro? Like, <laughs> like that's what I'd be seeing. Like, like what what happened? Like, that's some other overthinking <laughs> shit, bro. I don't even be thinking that shit. <laughs> for real. But nah. some shit like that, you know? Yeah. But yeah, just, like, like, you see these yeah. motherfuckers, these baseball players, bro, like, they, they good at what they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like this, who got alive? He got his kids. Like, what if his kid? Ah, his real? kids probably yeah. smoking weed right now while he playing, but he don't even know and shit. You know, <laughs> like throwing ninety pitches. Yeah, <laughs> nah, for real though, bro. Is he a ninety? I don't even know, but most likely, it. bro. Nah, but um, what was I know this? Oh, I was like that before Travis Scott. I remember when I saw him. It was the day I've. It was a Monday, his concert. Yeah. The day before Sunday, it was when he did the halftime show with Maroon 5. It's lit. Yeah, so I remember <laughs> the day I saw him, I was like, oh, damn, he was just at the Super Bowl yesterday on, like, national television, yeah. and I'm here on his concert right now. Like, now, like, what? now he in front of you type shit. Yeah, yeah same so shit. it was trippy. I was like, damn, what the fuck? I know some crazy shit like that, though. Yeah, it's like, like, I seen the week, I'm like, damn, I lit this motherfucker in my ears, and now he, like, in person <laughs> and shit. Nah, for real, dude. Bro. Damn. It'd be like that. 
I don't know though. What what's your opinion on like TikTok fashion? Because I see a lot of people hating uh, on me. TikTok fashion. Yeah. Um, I think it's just fashion. Okay, there's some TikTok yeah. fashion, but I think it's just all fashion in general. Like I do fashion, I make videos, but I don't think I'm doing TikTok fashion. I'm yeah. just doing like I'm just really doing what I want to do, what I like. But I don't know. I feel like some people who get their fashion only from TikTok mm-hmm. need to dive deeper because there's more to it than like there's more than just the videos I'm making too. Yeah, like, that's I, what I meant. Though. I'm making videos on fashion, but like there's there's more to it. Like mm-hmm. go find your own fat. Like don't just what, see a motherfucker's fit on TikTok and then copy it, or just see like fashion on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Just watch some videos and be like, oh, I, I know about fashion now. Like, go do your own research. Go do your own stuff before you mm-hmm. try to get into a new world. Yeah, like, um, that's what I think. The fashion world is just such a huge... Yeah, there's, like, hella pockets mm-hmm. in it. There's, like, the streetwear people. There's, like, people who do screen printing. Like, oh, I do DDG, I DTG, I do screen printing. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm into, like, high fashion. Oh, I'm into, like, only local fashion. Like, every, it's all different. Yeah. Because yeah. I see people hitting on the whole, um, the whole, like... 550s and yeah, what? cargo pants uh-huh, and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah like, like that. Like that. That's what a lot of motherfuckers be wearing on there. I yeah. think like you should make it your own if you yeah. don't be doing fashion. Don't just copy people what they what they're wearing. It. Yeah, yeah. That's Expand onto your shit. Yeah, that's why it's kind of weird because it's like I don't explain it. Uh, it's just like I don't know. I feel like they like to play it safe. That's why for me it's kind of like I don't care. I'll just wear whatever I want now. Yeah, yeah. Do, like do you know? whatever. Do, don't don't play it safe. Never yeah. play it safe. That's that doesn't get you nowhere. Yeah, and what I hate too is like people. I feel like people wouldn't cop something just because it's not hyped. Like me, I remember uh, when I got these human made the the superstars. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people didn't even notice, and they're like, "Bro, why would you cop them? They're just superstars." And then I'm like, "Bro, they're like, you know, Nigo." There, there's more. Fucking, yeah, there's more to it. Yeah, you know, like you'll buy a piece because you like it, not because yeah you told me to. And also buy it too because of like who made them and stuff like that. Like. I don't know. Like, I really support. love... Yeah. I feel that, yeah. Like, I love Nigo and all the yeah. shit he does. So I really want to own something. And, like, it was the same shit with Virgil Abloh. Like, I really wanted to own some of his pirate pieces. But that... When I found that he passed away, I'm like, oh, fuck. Now it's going to be impossible. Yeah, now it's going to be Because people like, are going to ruin it for everybody. Yeah, yeah. but buy, buy what you like because you want to support. Like, yeah. I want to support Jeremy Scott. I want to support No Doubt. So I bought a No Doubt shirt type yeah. shit, you know? Support what you want. Yeah. Wear what you want. Be, be yourself. Yeah, Copying other people will get you nowhere. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. But like, I if I copied motherfuckers' fits, I would not be anywhere. For real, I would though. just be in bed right now, not here in San Diego. I'm in San Diego right now. That's a trip, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's even more of a trip to think that. I don't know. I've been watching your videos, and now you're here. Like, see, that's a, like same shit. Like, yeah, you see, the like, motherfuckers real. I'm here in person. Yeah, I got that's my I weird. got my setup at home just like this. I turn on my lights, I put my phone, and I start talking. Same shit. For real. Y'all could do it too. <clears throat> Not for real though. Damn. Um this is more like already out of topic, but y- you ever saw that this one um what was it? This one funeral? All right, so imagine this. Imagine mm-hmm. you're going to a club, just a regular day. I don't know if you ever heard about this, because mm-hmm. it was all over the news. Mm-hmm. You're going to a club, yeah, and you just see a dude there standing, but on the stage and Little do you know, he's just standing there, but he's dead. And I seen that the bro, they they had like a dead body mm, at the yeah. club. That was like his funeral, right? Yeah, a uh, Gunu. His name's Gunu. I, I seen done. that. Yeah. Um, bro, I I don't agree. I think that shit is interesting. No, that's <laughs> like for for what reason? Like did that shit not smell? Like is his body not going to <laughs> bro, deteriorate? Not that's real. what I was thinking. Like is his body not going <laughs> to deteriorate? Like that's like don't they gotta like do special shit to the body to put mm-hmm. it underground and like work make it okay? For you. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what's up with that. Don't do that to me when I die. Nah, yeah. it's because he's the one that asked for it. Supposedly, he yeah. asked for it. I think, yeah. yeah, I don't know what was going through his head. I don't know who he was. I don't know why he has his reasons, but not me. <laughs> bro, now what, what, what if he made <laughs> as a joke and like, bro? What, what if and he people like, took it seriously? Yeah. Huh? And what if he like revised in the middle of the fucking club and he's like, nah, it was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody nah, in that bitch would pass out, bro, if he just revived. Bro, if he just started nah. speaking on the mic. Nah, I could never, bro. Like, imagine just being like your family member. Someone nah, you knew that like, like lived. And yeah. you're like, what the fuck? Like, like imagine you nah. pull up to like a funeral, let's say for someone you know, and you just see their body like hanging on that bitch. Bro. I'd be scared, bro. I'd be like, like, why am I here? Nah, I remember I watched that shit in the middle of the night, too, and I was like, nah, bro. Like, I ain't seen the video, but I, I heard of it. I seen, like, little pictures people were posting. I, I saw like that. that shit, like, I think it was midday. I was just oh. scrolling through Instagram, and it was there. I was like, oh, shit. 
I see. I saw that shit on YouTube. It came out my recommended. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm like, what is this shit? I'm like, mm, I guess I watch it, and I was like, bro, I nah. go down that YouTube rabbit hole too sometimes, and like, yeah. I'm like, oh, what the yeah. fuck? Nah, especially in the night, bro. It is not. It's not it, bro. Like, <laughs> nah, bro. You chose to click on it. You knew what you was. Yeah, getting. yeah so literally. Into, yeah, but dead it's like bo- dead body hanging at funeral. You're like, All right, I'm gonna I'm <laughs> click on this shit. What is there? <laughs> not for real, bro. It's my fault, but it, 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 it grasps your attention. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, um. you're like, no way. No fucking way. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Have Have you guys seen what the whole um Johnny Depp thing is happening right now? I I like heard of it. I don't know what's going on, but I heard I seen Bro, like some shit happening with him. What's happening? Some crazy ass shit. So Amber Heard supposedly was abusing him. Like, uh, like, like his ex girlfriend. His ex wife. Uh, his ex wife abused mm-hmm. him. Yeah. And like she, it was bad. Like he would go in the public, and there's pictures of of it too. He would like he'll have like black eyes under sunglasses uh-huh. or like bruises. Or like I think even one time he had like a cut right here. Uh-huh. I think she even chopped off like one of his fingers. No, oh no, yeah. no, that shit like grew back or no? Nah, I don't know. Nah, uh, <laughs> what I heard what the story was was something about it was when he was making the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie that he was making. Yeah, damn, that's and a while ago, no? Yes, yeah, so it wasn't even that long ago. Mm-hmm. And supposedly she was on some crazy shit and threw the glass bottle at him and it cut his finger. No, and something happened. I think I think he told someone about it, but then they told him to just play it off. Fuck. Like the Warner Bros. people. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck. And, yeah. And that's when and that's when he that's when he said that he'll never work for Pirates of Caribbean ever again. That's a trip. Yeah, because I didn't uh, even know that. Yeah. He told them he's like, yo, my wife is like abusing me. I think so I think it was like some shit like that. Cause I remember I saw something about he said something and that that's why he's never working for them ever again. What? Yeah. I did not see that. That's crazy. Yeah. And I heard some weird ass shit too. Like yesterday actually I was watching it with my girl yesterday. I was watching it with her, mm-hmm. the YouTube uh, I was on YouTube and it was some shit where he where she went to Coachella and that uh, um something about like she shitted on his bed. Oh, yeah, I, I, saw I think that. I saw that shit. Yeah. I saw something it like was... he shitted on or she shitted on my bed. Yeah. Some news article. I'm like, nah, what the fuck? I'd I be staying away from seeing some shit sometimes. <laughs> I just went <laughs> Bro, that's like some That's disgusting. OBJ, what the fuck? Yeah, OBJ. Bro, OBJ. Nah. Uh, <laughs> bro, nah. Shitter. Nah, um, what do you call it? Also another one? Now nah, it's kind of weird though, cause it's kind of fucked up. Cause, um, uh, my girl told me one one story too about it. That it was um, they were, um, what was it? They were in. He was with his homies, and mm-hmm. they were just playing guitar or some shit. And that she went, she went, um, she came back home and saw them playing guitar, and that she got mad at him. And called them boring as fucking, like started yelling at him just because they were playing guitar. What? Yeah, and then he was like, "What the fuck?" And that, and that there's like voice recordings and shit like that of like when she used to hit the fuck out of him. Yeah, and then he used to always run away because I guess he, when he was like younger, he would just to like, I guess go through the same shit like getting abused and all. How this. long was he with her, bro? I don't, I don't even know. know. I'm oh, pretty sure a long time. Oh my Look god! Like, yeah, they got married. Did they have like kids and shit? What nah, the I don't fuck, think so. I think bro? So. Nah. No matter how much money and power you have, that shit, will, the women will get you. Yeah, nah, bro, it's kind of it's sad. That's though. insane. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's what the fuck. Yeah. yeah, I heard that like they would get into like really huge fights, and she would start like beating the shit out of him. He'd just try to run and hide Ooh. in the bathroom and like lock himself in there. Yeah, and and that there's recordings and shit like that of like of like her actually admitting to it and saying that oh like why are you running away from me? Just come back here. And then he was like, no, because you keep hitting me. And then he's like, okay, who cares? There was also one where uh-huh. where she was like, oh, I didn't punch you. She was like, I was just slapping you or some shit like Ooh, that. Oh, I, I didn't see that yeah, shit. Yeah, I seen yeah. that shit. That's like some weird ass shit, bro. What the fuck? It's mm-hmm. crazy fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's that's a trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know, though. Anything else? Um, I, I just guess all I have right now. Anything else y'all want to know? Y'all want to ask? I am here. Hmm. What's your most... Back to like the whole closet thing. Mm-hmm. What what's your like most sentimental piece that you got? It's it's the Thrasher one. Really? It's, yeah, it yeah, has so. to be the Thrasher one. That shit's been with me since I was fucking young. You mean since I was skating? Yeah, since yeah. I was, it got my skate marks in it. It got my sweat in it. It got my Uzi sweat. It got my Cardi sweat. Damn, it has everything. That's crazy, bro. Wait, another question I wanted to ask you: Would you be down in one year from now? Like, oh, let's say. Shit. Like let's say one year from now, because hopefully we'll blow up even more mm-hmm. bigger and we make this shit keep burning. Because we're actually really playing on 
Cause y'all, y'all keep running it, bro. Now I'm not gonna yeah. front. It's because you coming here, bro. I just give us more motivation. They were like, okay, we can get you on here, bro. Then we can do anything. Mm-hmm. Keep doing it. So bro. we're like, yeah. Uh-huh. So now that we have you here, we're like, okay, we have to do this now. Like you gonna ask me to come like, back in a year from now? Yeah, yeah. But this time <laughs> yeah. we go, we come to you though. We that, come to that'd LA. Be fire. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, it. you pick a spot. Like we'll we rent a record. fucking podcast studio. They yeah. got a million Fuck out it. there. For, it's because um, they got podcast studios for like twenty an hour, bro. Yeah, shit, that's not even bad. Yeah, yeah. It's because we we wanted to come out there too, because we were like, oh, because we know how hard the drive bees mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But it's because we we don't have nothing to like that can be portable or something. I feel, like I feel that. that. No, y'all good. Yeah, so, so I, we kind of felt bad. We we're like, fuck. Yeah. Bro. I'm with it. No, yeah. yeah, bro. Y'all keep running it. I swear to God, if y'all get what episode is this? Like 10, 11 for y'all. I don't even know. Well, yeah. I think this is gonna be our first one on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Our first one on YouTube. We have more on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. but no, bro. If y'all get to like, it, it's a long way, but to like episode 100, if y'all keep running it, this shit would be crazy, insane big. Like, For my sure. first TikTok fucking suck balls. <laughs> now I've, I've probably made like 500 since my first one. And mm. shit, shit moves. Shit moves if you just stay consistent and post and do it. My, my one word of advice is stay consistent as fuck because I used to make YouTube videos. Uh-huh. And I would post. It would be like one video a week. Every Thursday, I would just do vlogs. I would be like at concerts. I would do. You like, saw your YouTube? Yeah, I still have my YouTube. It's still up, Jeremy Rose. You can see like old videos. Yeah. I used to post a hell of videos like once a week, and then shit started getting traction. Started getting traction, and then one day I stopped, bro. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I stopped. I was like, <laughs> you know what? Like a video a week is too much. It really was not. I stopped, and then I posted a video like a month later. It didn't get as much views. I got like sad. I posted another video. It didn't get as much views. But when you're consistent with this shit. If y'all post one a week, y'all don't even need to do no editing, bro. Y'all don't need to really do nothing. Just record, sit down for an hour, yeah. and upload. Mm-hmm. If you post like one a week for a year, that shit will get traction. As fuck. Post clips on TikTok up, up, uppity. That's Actually, what, we've been thinking about that, yeah. doing the whole TikTok thing, because we've been seeing that low key. That's kind of the way to go right yeah. now. TikTok, you know? <laughs> TikTok the way. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Like, like I'm trying to do fashion shit. I'm trying to, I'm literally just trying to. Do me whatever yeah. I like. I will post and just TikTok is the way, bro. Like, right, but at the same time, too, we're not. We don't want to be known as like just for TikTok. TikTok. The, the, the thing know? is, I I get that. Like, y'all don't want to be known for TikTok, but yeah. TikTok ain't gonna be around for long. We probably got like max. like a year, maybe two. Mm-hmm. The TikTok gonna be big because shit dies. Like y'all saw Vine, the yeah. shit yeah. dies. Like use it while we here, because then. Yeah. In a year or two from now, we not gonna have TikTok. Y'all gonna be like, damn, we should have been on TikTok, bro. Yeah, like, damn, so nice. many people blew up. Like that that's what I was thinking. I was in my bed watching people on TikTok. I'm like, bro, I need to be on the other side. Like yeah. this shit is going to die one day. And I'm I don't want to be like, damn, I should have done that cuz I I look back, I'm like, yo, if I if I was making vines, I would go cra- I would be crazy right now, bro. I'd be Jake Paul <laughs> 2.0. For real. So then now we got TikTok. I'm like, okay, wait. Where I'm you're in the moment. We're in the moment where this shit is blowing people up. Like you don't blow up crazy big on YouTube no more. Yeah. Like before, like I've seen like Emma Chamberlain and like Jake Paul and all these motherfuckers like blow up in front of my eyes. Like that's not happening on YouTube. That's happening on TikTok now. Y'all yeah. see like the Addison Rays, the Charlie D'Amelios. Like it's on mm-hmm. TikTok. That's that's where it is. I hadn't thought about like yeah. e- even a lot of people who who's going up up like um ah, there's fuck there's some music artists that I forgot the fucking names, but they have gone up on TikTok and now they ain't even known like as TikTok artists no more. Type yeah. deal. I mean, like people shit mm. will blow up on TikTok. Would you mm. consider Baby Keem low yeah, key? Yeah, because Baby Keem low key. Like, I can, no Doja Cat, bro. Literally, Dude, uh, Doja every Cat fucking song gonna... she come out with is on TikTok. But she yeah. not a TikTok artist. Yeah. Yeah. she gonna be here the rest of our lives till we die. We gonna know who Doja Cat is. And Baby that's Kim thanks too. to TikTok. Yeah, because yeah. Baby Keem blew up with Orange Soda. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and then, but he, we don't know him as a. He's, he's not yeah, like like yeah. your shit can blow up on TikTok, but you need to be like, oh, that those dumb TikTok podcasters. Like, no, we we just podcasters. We just vibing. You know. Mm-hmm. But that's the wave, bro. Just be consistent. Like, like right now, I'm posting like two to three videos a day. Every time I post, this shit will get views. If I miss one day, I will not get views. Like, shit. I don't know why. Like, I, w- I was going hard. I was in like four videos a day for like two weeks. On my second week, like the fifth day, everything I posted, 30K, 30K, 40K, 50K. And then I stopped like one day. Next day I posted, it got 200 views. I was like, damn. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, reason? Yeah, this this was like a couple of weeks mm-hmm. ago, but yeah, no, it's just consistency, bro. Like every every algorithm, every thing loves consistency. I've been running this shit since I was like sixteen. That's what I learned. I mean, that's literally what he always tells me yeah. now, because 
He's always telling me we gotta be more consistent. Oh, it's actually that's, that's it, bro. You you can make shitty content. Y'all like honestly, y'all could make be the worst podcasters in the world <laughs> talking about eating shit. But if y'all <laughs> post once a week, yeah. people will people will gravitate towards it. People will have something to look forward to. You know, yeah. like you said, you be looking at my TikTok yeah. all the time, seeing if I post a new video. Like mm-hmm. motherfuckers will be looking at y'all. Hey, did they post anything? Like I, I'm trying to watch this podcast while I I play my tech deck or something, <laughs> or while I'm watching TV, yeah. or while I'm sewing, like. Motherfuckers want something to play, some new content. So yeah, that consistency, run it. I'm down to come back in a year. Yeah, but it's welcome to you. Actually, it'll be cool. We get like your girl too. We 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 can get our mic. We can do it both of you. You know, like update on y'all both. Exactly. Do one and one. That's two episodes. That's episode 100 and 101. Yeah. Yeah. And episode 103, us both. Boom, three episodes. Damn. On it. We got like a thousand (laughs) subscribers. We got more (laughs) subscribers, bro. Yeah. Who knows? Only time will tell, I guess. Yeah, yeah, only time will tell. But yeah, no, if you really want it, y'all y'all will run it. I sure. see I seen that. If you want yeah. it, you will get it. That's fire. Yeah. That yeah. is my that is my advice. Damn. To y'all. And the last thing to tell you is is there any news that on what's coming for you? So oh, yeah, if you wanna any news on what's coming. Yeah, shout uh, anything out. I'm trying to blow the fuck up out of this mm-hmm. TikTok. I'm trying to l- at least get a hundred. By summer, at least, at least, you know, really go crazy. Um, I guess that's focus right now, but like just trying to do a lot of things at once, you know, just making music every now and then when I get bored. I mean, who doesn't want to be a fucking rock star? You know, who who don't yeah. want who don't want to be on a stage singing? Who don't want to have people singing like they songs to, coming from their heart? Mm-hmm. That um, for sure, you know, making TikToks, doing more. Um, oh, I got I got a video with Ass Pizza coming this next week. He styled my fit. Oh yeah, I was gonna you ask you about ask that. Him. Yeah, cause um, yeah, you gotta run it before before you close this bitch out. And you're nah, like, damn, I should have asked them that. Not nah, for real. I mean, I'll probably would ask you off, cam- off yeah. camera, cause I was talking about your story when when I saw uh, when you saw the whole ask Yeah, show. I'm trying to like little, little hints and shit, but yeah. Um, uh, did you already get to meet him or something? Yeah, no, no, no. We've talked. He uh, he cool. We we met up not that long ago on Melrose. He mm-hmm. gave me hella clothes. He styled my fit. He. Just bless me. He's like, yo, I want you to make videos. Like, bless the streets, bless people. I want you to just wear the fit, see what people think. Damn, he said, yeah. Cool. He said what he watches the, the shit. He fucks with it. He's like, keep going. You're gonna blow up. And I was like, okay, thanks. Damn. So yeah, no, that's what that's why I was on Melrose. I was giving out box logos. I was giving out hella clothes. Yeah, I've and been seeing you like promoting the mm-hmm. three lo- the three box logo yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he, he gave me hella. I was like, I need to do something with this shit. Like, I can't just keep it in my room. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna sell it. And like. He gave it to me. I need to bless the world. Put these out there. Um, so, yeah, I was promoting those. I was giving hella those away, giving away unreleased clothes, making videos. Probably, like, 40 TikToks ready to go Damn. with that. It's just I want to, like I said, consistency. I want to time it perfectly. Yeah. So I'm trying to get, like, hella videos ready and then just post, post, post. Because I'd be stressed. And sometimes I got to wake up. I'm like, oh, I got to film some videos and then get ready. Then I got to go to set. And then I got to come home. And then I got to art show. And then I got to fucking eat and change and then to do like a million things in one day. So, yeah, I'm trying to get those together. That's SP, SP2 videos coming. That's cool. That's dope. Like um, like with him? SP2? Yeah, no, yeah. We, we filmed a little TikTok, a little skit and shit. Y'all yeah, see it. I'll cool. post in a bit. It's fire. But, yeah, that's cool, bro. Because, I mean, I've, I've really seen SP2 like... On YouTube and shit, and doing his thi- own thing like the yeah, whole he, junior no, pieces. He cool. yeah. yeah, he he does his he does his own shit. Like, like yeah. one, one thing I too, I used to watch an interview by him. Uh, the, it was called like Thinking Gets You Nowhere. The, like mm-hmm. if, you, if you overthink too much about like an idea that you want to do, like let's say y'all want to start this podcast, but y'all thinking too much, like oh no, like we, we need better mics. Nah, we, like we don't got a camera, we can't do it. Mm-hmm. Then you never gonna do nothing. Like you just gotta start. Like if you want to make clothes. Pick up a marker, pick up a fucking thrift shirt piece, and just start doing some shit to it. Whatever comes to your head, like don't think too much about what you're trying to do. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Who's winning? The Dodgers winning? Nah, Padres. Fuck Padres. <laughs> bro, what do you mean? Fuck Yo, Padres? <laughs> yeah, nah, my bad. Yeah. I, for, I forgot. I'm in, I'm in y'all territory, yeah. bro. Nah, I'm just um, kidding. We wouldn't mind taking y'all to a game, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nah, we're not like that. We're not. Me, bro, bro, some people are weird, bro. Like, yeah, they be, like, they be starting fights and shit. Yeah, like, bro, bro, they take that shit fights. way too serious. Like, bro, it's baseball, bro. Like, chill. Like, bro, y- y'all ever been to a Mexico soccer game? Bro, yeah, nah, that I've shit is it. crazy, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers will throw their beer right to your face, mm-hmm. bro. After a goal, bro. Yeah, nah. bro, they do that here too. Bro, now nah, go to a Cholos game. You know who Cholos are? Cholos? Yeah, they're uh, who the Cholos? They're, it's a soccer team in Tijuana. Uh huh. Bro, that dude, shit just does not nah. sound. I do not want to go to a Cholos <laughs> soccer game from Tijuana, nah. bro. That shit's on bro, intense. Nah, like Cholos is short for like Cholos Quinclas, like the dog. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But bro, it's like they're um. 
what do you call it? What's, how do you call a borra in English? A uh, chant. Una borra? Not a borra. It's like, like a chant. It's like right? a group of people uh-huh. that go fucking crazy when oh. I put flags and shit. Uh-huh, like that. Uh-huh, bro, uh-huh. I remember it. It, they did this really crazy shit. It's like a whole. It's literally a gang, bro. At some point, because <laughs> I remember they used to be posted up like at the end of some parking lot, and security would stop you. Be, they see you with another jersey, and they'd be like, "You better hide it." But if you cross this line right here, we're not in charge of you. If you get beat the fuck up, you're uh-huh. gonna get beat up just for wearing a jersey, bro. And I remember I one time, this. yeah. And I remember one time, um, I was with my dad, and we were doing like garden salad and everything, and he's just like, "Oh, move to the quick," and they just grab me and drag me, and I turn around. And there's this one dude with a Chivas jersey just getting chased and getting beer thrown at. And they were, like, chasing him down, mm. bro, like, on top of a car and shit like that. Like, bro, they're, like, right. It's not that serious, bro. Sports. <laughs> yeah, it's oh just, my like, God. sports, bro. It's, like, like you got to chill, bro. They treat they shit like it's the Bloods versus the Crips. Bro. Yeah, dude. On some real shit. Now, that's, like, literally Padres against yeah. Dodgers. That's yeah, no people, cap, uh, that's yeah. people last that night, shit. Last night, there was, like, this girl that took, like, a Lucha Libre mask from the Padres. And she started stomping on it. And then the, the dude, like, he took her hat and threw it, like, into the field. Oh, fuck, yeah. bro. Me and my girl, we used to go to, uh, we went to a Padres Dodgers game last year. Mm-hmm. And this one dude was like taunting the shadow of a Dodgers fan. And they just started throwing beer at each other. And bruh. That shit looked yeah, like. Yeah, see, like, that, motherfuckers don't yeah, care. Nah, that shit was looking like fucking splash zone, bro. Like, Padres games are just crazy, bro. Nah, bro. Especially the Dodgers one. Dude, yeah. We got to take you to one. Actually, in September, we'll take y- you to y- one. Y- y'all be doing that shit, huh? Y'all be entertaining all, all that shit, huh? Yeah. I'm not gonna it's, fun. It's, I'm not gonna yeah it's funny. I'm not going to lie. It's funny. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> Nah, bro, we gotta actually. We'll take you to one yeah. in September. Yeah. We'll hit you, and then Dope. we'll be like, bro, they come me, through. Let me know what's cracking, bro, for real. It's cracking. Yeah, like I don't know what to try to get the tickets. We got it, bro. Got you covered, for real. So yeah, um, any shout outs you want to give out to anyone before before we close it? Yeah, and shout out Jared Murrows. for real. Number shout out to Jerry. That's the homie now. The number yeah. one, everything. <laughs> I, I do everything. <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Bye. All right, hello, bro. So thank you to everybody listening. Thank you to take Jared care. For yeah, shout out to Jerry for coming and doing everything for us. You know what I'm saying? And um, make sure to follow him on everything. We'll link it. Yep, and just make sure to check him out on TikTok, Instagram, and for real, like you got to check out for him because before his he comes out way too big. Yeah, he's gonna come at you fast for real. Yeah, JaredMurrows dot com. Jared Murrows, mm-hmm. my closet. So for real, Bob. Yeah. So shout out to everybody. Remember to stay positive and happy. So yeah, we out. Well, it sounds so crazy. It sounds different.